story, a major announcement today from Rockford Public Schools. Parents, you have just five days to decide if your student is going to participate in in-person or e-learning for this upcoming school year. Several in-depth details were just released this morning, and we'll share the major points with you in just a moment. But first, a decision is made that affects student athletes across the state. Today, my administration is releasing new guidance restricting youth and adult recreational organized sports in Illinois. That includes school-based sports, such as those governing, governed by the IHSA and IESA, travel clubs, private leagues, recreational leagues and sports centers, and park district sports programs. And the headline of that new guidance, high school football and basketball, along with several other high contact sports, are in jeopardy of not being played this school year, unless the number of positive coronavirus cases significantly decreases statewide. The newly released guidance categorizes sports into three risk levels, low, medium or high. Based on the amount of contact between athletes and their proximity during play, these are the higher risk sports. Popular sports like football, hockey, and competitive cheer and dance all make the list. These are your highest contact sports, putting athletes at the most risk of contracting the virus. Next are the medium risk sports. The three big ones here, basketball, soccer, and volleyball. A little less contact with these sports, meaning they will have the opportunity to get back to competition sooner. And finally, the low risk sports, a big list here. These sports have the best chance of having competition this fall as school gets back in session. However, several of these sports must have increased safety measures that must be met in order to play. And here's what those levels of play look like. If your sport is allowed at level one, you can only have non-contact practices and trainings. At level two, intra-team scrimmages are allowed, but still no competitive play. At level three, intra-conference or intra-league games are allowed, but league and state championships are only allowed for low-risk sports. Finally, at level four, all competition, including state championships for all sports, are once again allowed. And starting August 15th, only the lower risk sports are allowed to compete in any kind of games. Medium risk sports can scrimmage, while higher risk sports can only hold non-contact practices. But that doesn't mean all hope is lost for sports like football, as the IHSA announces a proposed modified schedule to the upcoming season. For more on that, we toss it out live to 13 Sports Director Derek Bain at Harlem High School with more. Hey, Derek. Hey, Kristen. Yeah, Harlem's Clyde Peterson Stadium, along with other football stadiums around the state, are going to be eerily quiet this fall as uh, football, along with a couple other fall sports, have been pushed back due to those COVID-19 restrictions. The football season now is slated to be in the spring, along with boys soccer and girls volleyball. The plan is for them to run from mid-February to May 1st. Golf, tennis, cross country and swimming can all start on time. Basketball and other winter sports are planning on going from November to February, while spring sports like baseball, softball, girls soccer and track will go from May 3rd all the way to June 26th. And while stadiums will be quiet in the fall, things should be busy if all goes as planned into 2021. I like the idea of playing in the spring because I did not want to start uh, playing in the fall and then stop or, you know, be cut off. So I, 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 I'm, I'm excited about the idea that we possibly can get the best or the closest to a full season end. Of course, this plan still has to be totally approved by the state. We will hear from some more local high school football coaches coming up a little bit later on in sports. James, back to the studio with you. Derek, thank you. 